my name is Chris Devikas, Lead Service Technician at Heidolf North America, and today I'm going to be going over some basic lock and collar maintenance with you. So the first process I'm going to go over with you on cleaning your lock and collar is going to be a daily cleaning that I highly recommend. So every time you remove your collar, it's going to be open. Just take some ethanol or ISO or acetone, whatever uh, solvent you use for cleaning in your lab, and just spray around the inside of the collar. You know, be pretty liberal with it. Don't, don't just, you know, two squirts and then you're done. You should actually really give it a good spray. And then once you have it sprayed, just work the spring between the guides to help break up any of the dried residue that may be collecting inside those guides and spring. So that's a daily cleaning. Uh, it's very simple and I strongly recommend it. Okay, so for a Weekly cleaning, what I would recommend doing is taking apart the components that are inside the collar and just giving them a good, a good wash, okay? So we have three guides here. We have a spring, and then this front piece right here is the PTFE adapter. Once we remove the PTFE adapter, we have our vapor tube seal um, that's already attached to that, so this is gonna be great and, and make it very easy to clean both components. And then now to remove the guides and the spring, basically just pull the spring out. You'll start having guides fall out because you do have one up on the top. Um, sometimes these ones on the bottom can be a little tricky. So what you could do is just take this little, uh, this little bend that's in the, in the spring. You'll notice that there's a hole in the guides. So you could just put that little tip into the hole and pull it right out. And then there's also another component down here, which sometimes will come or come out or it won't at all. It has a little spring on there. If it doesn't come out, that's fine. Just leave it in because it's, it's much harder to put back into place. Just make sure you give that a good spray with, uh, with some ethanol. Um, and as far as these components go now, with your springs and your guide, your adapter and your vapor tube seal all out. Uh, just soak these in some solvent for about five minutes or so and uh, reassemble the collar. So that'll, that's going to be our next step after we clean everything is reassembling the collar. Okay, to reassemble the collar, basically what you're going to want to do is slide your bottom guides in first. You'll notice that there's pins on the guide. These act as kind of a, a, a base as to where these guides go. You'll notice in the, the collar itself, there are slots where the pins slide in, and they'll hold the guides in position. Now the tricky one is gonna be up top. So what I typically wind up doing is I'll start the spring in one of the guides, and again, this little bend that's in here will go into the hole, and it'll connect like that. Okay, so your one guide that's already in place, catch the hole. You could also at this point in time get the guide caught or get the spring caught in the guide in the groove. Get your top one put into place. There we go. We have our spring and our guides back in place. Okay and then for the monthly cleaning uh, what I would recommend doing is removing your PTFE adapter, your vapor tube seal, your spring and your guides, and then soaking everything overnight. Uh, what this will wind up doing is in your vapor tube seal, you can see some grooves that are in there. Uh, you don't want any residual uh, components to be building up inside this, this seal. It could start damaging the seal and in turn can lead to, vapor, uh, to vacuum leaks. And then another thing as well too, there's some grooves that are inside this PTFE adapter uh, that would require some deep cleaning at least once a month. Uh, again too, that will also lead to some vacuum issues if this is not properly cleaned. And the biggest thing is obviously cleaning your guides and your spring, making sure that this is free of any residue of any kind. Um, and the main reason why we're very adamant about cleaning your collar is eventually if you do not clean your collar, you will have issues opening and closing the collar. And in the interim can also damage this adjusting bolt. This, this bolt right here 
adjust the tension of your springs and guides uh, to form a better seal with your evaporation flask and the rest of the glassware on the system. So we want to make sure that this is functioning free and easy um, and we don't want you guys to be in a position where you can't close it or you can't open it because uh, then that's going to require a little more effort and uh, with the potential scare of breaking glassware. That's something we totally want to avoid. So I can't stress enough the maintenance on your locking collar. It's very important. It's very essential to your runs. Uh, so just keep up with that maintenance and you'll have a happy humming hide off industrial unit. I'd like to thank you for taking the time for watching this video. Again, my name is Chris DeBikas, lead service technician here at Hide Off North America. And if you have any further questions, you can reach me at my contact information below.